Schools are not allowed to have mask mandates this year, so parents, you're probably wondering how your child's classroom will look and if there are any protective measures in place. Chris Sadegi with us this morning in studio. And what is the setup within Duncanville ISD, Chris? Well, Kara, I asked the superintendent of Duncanville schools if this year would look more like 2019 or more like 2020. He said mostly it's going to look like 2019, but there's still going to be a few things that remind us of 2020. We already told you today that kids are back 100% in the classroom. That's one way it will look like 2019, but the millions of dollars they spent on things like plexiglass, new cleaning and disinfectant disinfecting strategies. That's all still going to be there. Each teacher in each classroom will also have a mister they can spray to disinfect surfaces and they will still be mindful of trying to social distance where possible and avoid huge indoor gatherings. The district had some vaccination drives over the summer and Superintendent Dr. Mark Smith said the district's 2000 staff members were part of them. That they're not required to share that information, but for those that have shared that information, uh, uh, I'm comfortable in saying about 50% or so of our staff uh, has already received the vaccination. At one of our drives, we had well over 200 plus students that received the vaccination. So, you know, I think our proactive measures have really helped. And Duncanville loves their high school football and their games will be at full capacity for now. But Dr. Smith told me over the last year they've gotten really good at making adjustments. And if we get into a situation where cases are once again getting out of control, they will adjust crowds and capacity as needed.